Hey everybody, I wanted to do a video on uh, to continue the HVAC electrical circuit. Uh, this is more for uh, helping diagnostics and, and understanding what's going on inside your, your furnace. Okay, I left this up here from the previous video because this is going to be in every single HVAC system that you're going to see. We got, we got line voltage and then we got our control circuit. Um, what you have in a, in a um, in, in a unit here is uh, you're going to have a fan, okay? We're just going to draw it as a motor. We got to turn that fan on and off somehow. And the way that fan is going to be controlled is by some type of temperature control, okay? And that's going to be a close on rise. Okay. So when the temperature inside the furnace goes up, bing, it makes and turns the motor on. Okay. Um, let's see what else we're going to have in, in the circuit. We're going to have, we need to have, we need to turn the fire on and off. So let's say we're dealing with a standing pilot. This is a pretty old system, but it's the one where you push and hold down light the pilot light. So the ignition process is taken care of for us because there is no ignition. It's a standing pilot. So what we're going to do is we need to revert back to the, uh, you know what, let me draw this so it's all connected. I'm going to draw it over here. Let's see here. We're going to draw, I'm just going to start over to draw it like this. Line voltage, line voltage. Here's our motor that we talked about. Let's install our motor right there. We're going to continue on and we are going to draw our transformer. Okay, zip, zip. This is what you would see in a ladder. This is what's called a ladder diagram. Okay, um, and then somewhere you have a system ground. <clears throat> okay, the motor needs to be controlled with, again, the, um, with the temperature switch. Close on rise, okay. Um, the low voltage control here is... Uh, or the, the low voltage side, we have a gas valve. Okay, let's draw that in as a square. We're going to say gas valve. And this also needs to be controlled with a switch. And that's a thermostat. And it's also, uh, we want that to close on fall. Okay, so we're going to draw it like this. So that when the temperature falls, to a certain temperature, whatever we have it set at, 68, click, opens the gas valve and turns it on. Then the temperature in the furnace is rising, heats up the this fan switch, which is on the high voltage side, turns the, turns the motor on. That's a pretty basic system. What you see here, what we don't have installed, is any type of switch. We should have an on-off or a service switch installed. And we should also have, remember our, everything needs to have a fuse. We should have some type of fuse installed. Okay? So now we're protected on this side. Uh, we need to install a couple of other safety systems in here. And uh, so let's, let's see, we want to... I am going to move this over because I don't have enough room. We're going to draw our gas valve here. Okay, we need to draw. We need to install a safety switch. We need to have this a normally closed switch, and we need to have it open on rise. And this is called a limit or auxiliary limit okay and that way 
And any time that the gas valve, say the gas valve sticks and, and the fire just continues to burn out of control and the furnace gets 300 degrees, well it won't get that hot because we have a thermally protected to open the gas valve and shut off. The other thing that we should have in, in here is another switch that is normally open Okay, this is a this is a high temperature limit switch. Excuse me, I drew that in the wrong spot. I am so sorry. That this one this one does one in the same. If the temp this this switch and this could be in the same location. Okay, this is this is a. Uh, um, a limit switch that would kill the gas valve. But let's go ahead and install a limit switch here um, on this line that would actually kill power to the uh, to the to the to the transformer. That'd kill everything on the side if, if the furnace gets too hot. So we want to normally close with a temperature switch that will during on a temperature rise switch will open kill power to the transformer everything will drop out and uh, and there you know you have you have a, a fan switch to turn the fan on you got a limit switch to protect from overheating and it shuts the entire 24 volt system off you have a uh, thermostat that will turn the gas valve on when the temperature drops and you also have a limit control that um, is going to turn the fire off if something happens typically in in the limit control or the auxiliary limits you may have up to two to four of these uh, in different locations depending on which type of unit you have okay so this is a basic uh, ladder diagram of a furnace uh, a simple basic standing pilot furnace I hope this helps uh, if you have any questions shoot me a, a, a question and I'll try to answer it in the form of a video response Alright guys, thanks a lot. Have a good day. We'll see you on video number 10.